Today I'm going to show you how to find the value of mixed coin combinations. I'll start by reading the problem. Danny has two dimes, one quarter, three nickels, and five pennies. Part A says, what is the total value of Danny's coins? Part B showed two different ways a person could add to find the total. Well, I'm going to start by drawing a picture of my coins. He has two dimes, one quarter, three nickels, and five pennies. I'll write the value of each group underneath. My dimes equal 20 cents. My quarter is 25 cents. My three nickels are 15 cents. And my five pennies are five cents. Now all I have to do is add them together. I have 20 plus 25 plus 15 plus 5. Well, I know 20 plus 25 is 45 cents, and I know 15 plus 5 equals 20 cents, and whenever I have a group of 10, I know it's a friendly number, so I can say 45 plus 20 cents equals 65 cents. Part B asks that we show two different ways a person could add to find the total. Well, I showed one way already. For my second way, I'm going to use the arrow method. When I use the arrow method, I start with a coin with the highest value. The coin with the highest value here is my quarter, which is worth 25 cents. I then add to it 20 cents using my arrow method. So I'll draw my arrow and I'll put my 20 over it. And I know that 25 plus 20 equals 45 cents. I'm finished now, my 20 cents and my 25 cents. Now I'm going to move on to my 15 cents. To make a friendlier number, I'm going to break up my 15 into one group of 10 and five ones. So to make my one group of 10, I then add 10 cents to make 55 cents. Then I take the five and I add about five more cents to make 60 cents. And then I add five more cents for my pennies to give me my total of 65 cents. The arrows represent what a student could be thinking in their head. This is the last step before complete mental math.